in my last video, I vacuumed my floor and I made space in this part of my room so that I could build my new bookshelf. Yay! I just brought it in this morning into my room and I kind of just put this box aside, which is the only one left that I still don't know what I'm going to do with because my books are actually in that one. But today I'm going to be building my bookshelf finally. I will leave the details of the bookshelf somewhere on the screen. But as far as I know, it's the IKEA Billy with the longer one. That's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm very excited. So let's get started. Here it is. This, these are the instructions, and this is the design. It's this one in particular, so that should be exciting. I do like following the instructions. I'm that type of person, and because I am in my independent girly era, I really don't want to mess up. <laughs> so uh, I will be just following these instructions very carefully and like organizing everything because um, I do really want it to turn out really well. All right, so I've finished separating everything and counting to make sure that everything came. I'm just kind of gonna start off with the first step and <laughs> read my way through. Um, no, actually first I'm gonna read the instructions and see what uh, tools I'm gonna need and then I'll just start building and following the instructions Taking a short break to show my water you can't really see it because of the light because the sun just came out like as i was building it came out and it's lovely outside but you can't really see the water <laughs> but it's basically ice lemon and water so nice motivating <laughs> properly showed where this bookshelf is going to go the audio got cut off but i was basically showing where i'm putting the bookshelf which is right next to my nightstand and my bed i'm not really sure why i'm moving my hands so much but i was very excited for this <laughs> My brother helped me fix my mistakes. I accidentally hit my jaw trying to remove one of the wooden pieces that I had put in the wrong section of the shelf. So I just decided to quickly finish building and save face from humiliating myself on the internet. I love how my bookshelf turned out, but I would not recommend building things when you're tired. And please stay safe and be careful. shelf ended up looking i'm really happy with how it turned out 
um, for now this is how I've decided to organize it. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and just give a quick tour of how it looks. So at the top of the bookshelf I just put this plant that I got from Ikea a while ago. I like it because it just falls down. I've seen a lot of people do this with their bookshelves and I really like how it looks. <laughs> I think it's adorable. So I just put that at the top. And then in the first shelf I have my yellow covered books just these five and then my perfumes with my lazy susan it's just it just moves like this which i really like it's adorable and i think <laughs> it'll look really nice up here and i also put my tiny flash it's so cute i got it so many years ago and my friends say that it represents me because i'm so slow but yeah then in the second level, I just have all of my black and white covered books. I have not separated my books between fiction, nonfiction, or genre or anything, just by colors. Right now, that's how I like organizing them. But if you have any ideas of what else I could do, I have all of my red and orange books. Uh, again, not in a specific genre or anything. I have like nonfiction, fiction, classics, all of that. I have a bubble candle which is also from Primark and then this little plant from Ikea as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it here or put it on my desk. But then on the fourth level I just have all of my blue books and my pink books. I do think I'm going to order, change the order of things a little bit but we'll see. Then in the second to last level I have my bullet journals and all of my notebooks. I have empty notebooks as well as already completely filled out notebooks. Uh, over here are my empty notebooks, right here. Empty notebooks and these are my filled notebooks and just like random notebooks as well. And then in my last level, I just have miscellaneous tallish um, things. So for example, like folders and extra, extra folders and filled folders. Um, my grandmother gave me that children's bible so that's why i keep it and then my phantom of the opera book as well so yeah love how my bookshelf ended up looking alongside my impressionist art prints so i've really been liking how my room is coming together i hope you liked this video as well as messy and as disorganized that it ended up being but yeah i hope you all have a lovely day